I think this time, this entire visits or engagement with public has been maybe publicized because of the media has found its voice. But I think even as a GOC commander, and uh, I've seen young company commanders engaging with people very, very intimately. Uh, the about the change that these uh, interactions were never just because uh, the media has been able to speak out quite openly and talk of progressive voices that you have been able to write about it and talk about it. And you imagine in case similar thing was done five years back, again you would have not reported. I don't think so that one has done something very really, uh, different. I have just continued to do what my predecessors have done in Kashmir Valley. So many young company commanders, CEOs and commanders are doing. So many soldiers are doing along with the people of Kashmir because frankly Rashtri Rifle here which is in the valley or our uh, Indian Army forces which are deployed on the LC, they are intimate uh, part of the Kashmiri society because we live together here. And therefore we are also responsible to ensure that whatever trouble and trebles come to us or to them, we go through those uh, problems together. There has been a uh, problem for some time and we have been going through this uh, issues together. Of course, time does not change. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, 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 you know, firstly, uh, the DP is uh, actually uh, yes. speaks about me or anybody who is a soldier that when we do anything and we perform, when we are carrying out our actions and duties, we do it for our country, we do it for our people. And therefore, whatever we do, we don't have to have any remorse or any regret about it. So that's uh, what defines me or any soldier in uniform. Well, uh, my achievement. Uh, for last one year, if I have to put it out, is one, is that in last about a year plus, more than 200, 250 youth who were possibly on the cusp of becoming a terrorist, and majority of them who had become terrorists, have in some form or other brought back to the society. That's my achievement. And uh, rest, everybody achieves in terms of operational realm, in terms of uh, actions in the valley and such like things, I don't think that's very important to me and uh, important to our army or Rashtri Rifle today for us to ensure that not a woman, <coughs> mother, daughter, wife has to cry for a loss which is happening because somebody has become a terrorist was important. I had come up with a philosophy of breaking the cycle of violence in which on one side we kept on neutralizing terrorists including killing or taking surrenders or apprehensions. And on the second side, we wanted to reduce the number of terrorist uh, youth picking up arms. And I think we have done well on both the, both the levels. Most importantly, what transition has taken place that today, Jammu and Kashmir police, instead of going on to the tech realm for intelligence, is getting so much of a human intelligence that people don't want terrorists to come out and stay in their houses. They are not wanting to be openly called as terrorist support, uh, uh, terrorist supporters. There are places where even the supporters of terrorists or so-called OGWs are being subjected to, you know, are being isolated. There's a change which is happening. I think that's a major thing which has happened here and I'm very happy for uh, these changes. So, the new security dynamics hai, usme, uh, recently we've got to know that uh, jo, uh, the apprehension was that uh, the uh, weapons, American weapons in Afghanistan, they'll find their way. Uh, to Kashmir and uh, you found signatures but usko kitna bada threat hai maante kyunki abhi steel jacketed bullets ki bhi baat hui hai jo level 3 protection ko bhi breach karte hain aap you want to upgrade so how do you see that security challenge you know for us when we view uniform there are no challenges there are only changes required to be in our tactics procedures and drills and all so yes there are some weapons from across have come which are uh, having a uh, american uh, Stamp or some better quality ammunition started coming in. Some better quality of uh, uh, night scopes have come in. Uh, the signatures are not very uh, extensive. There are some only. But uh, does it challenge us? No. I think we have already changed our uh, style of functioning and such like things. We have oriented our drills and uh, we'll be able to manage such a situation. So, how big threat is the hybrid military? 
So you see, hybrid threat uh, terrorist was a threat maybe about eight nine months back when uh, people were not able to realize, even the population was not able to understand that today, uh, uh, why is it somebody who's been picked up by the police uh, was a good person, a common person, a student uh, of a school working in an orchard or a person sitting on a shop and suddenly why the police has picked him up uh, as a terrorist because he was not claiming himself to be a proclaimed uh, terrorist. So the concept has undergone a change and it was a threat but uh, in very quick time as uh, security forces evolved, this system has been evolved, the numbers of hybrid terrorists started coming down and uh, we see that uh, with the public support we are able to identify anybody who picks up a weapon or carries out a killing basically in a very criminalistic uh, manner is identified very quickly and thereafter he is removed from the society. I think the society has to be now become more vigilant about these things, especially the parents that where the children are going, what they are watching, so that they can keep a watch and ensure that a young man uh, of you know 16, 17 to 20 years old is not given a weapon to carry out a killing of a common civilian uh, or the behest of people who want to ensure that society carries out to be terrorized. Nobody is happy, uh, you know, there are some elements are totally unhappy with the progress, peace and tranquility which is now coming out as a permanent uh, measure and therefore they will keep on uh, evolving new systems to ensure disturbance on this. So, sir, sir, how much has been the ceasefire uh, uh, agreement favorable for you to fight counter in Kashmir? No, no, why should be uh, ceasefire violations or understanding uh, doesn't make a difference to us either way. For us as a military, it doesn't make a difference. But as a citizen of the country, I feel it's very important for our people who are sitting on the staying on the border areas. Life for them has become normal. They are going as per for the businesses as usual. I think that is more important. And I think even on the other side, the civilian population, which is again Kashmiris basically, they're also living a life of uh, tranquility and happiness. For security forces, there is never a challenge. But for people, there is a challenge. So, so Amanath Yatra, Yatra, sir, Amanath Yatra is happening Yatra after two years. लेकिन सरहद पार भी चेंज ऑफ गार्ड हुआ है एक्टिविटी भी वहां पे हो रही है तो कैसे देख रहे हैं आप जो सक्सेसर हैं उनके लिए क्या कहेंगे कि क्या हम एलसी पर कैन वी ऑल चेंजेस आर फॉर गुड आई एम वेरी श्योर माय सक्सेसर इज मोर क्वालिफाइड देन मी एंड ही विल डू मच बेटर देन मी in managing the environment here and then see. Sir, Amanath Yatra two years ago was happening. How do you see the security challenge? Because there are inputs that uh, sense of targets you have hit over in the two years. My question is that uh, yes. when is there no security challenge for... No, even, this year, uh, do you see any added threat or... Uh, what? There will be threats all the time and we will be always prepared. The, the security system is being put in place. It will be a good security system. We don't have to worry about it. Sir, what about the amnesty policy? Uh, what what you have found during your time was that it has really yielded results? Yes, it has yielded results. The amnesty policy is very simple. You picked up a weapon, you are on the wrong path, step out, join the social uh, stream. If you don't want to come publicly for centre, reach out to the nearest company commander of RR or uh, police person. Uh, we will ensure that you are taken out of circulation, uh, go through the process of rule of law. And thereafter join the society. That's the best possibly uh, possible messy thing to happen. A number of people have opted for it. Any impact is bigger for if you can do it. It will be better for interest of those people who don't want to have it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, come on, go ahead.